add a tablespoon to each hole before planting tomatoes. Thanks to this, the tomatoes will be healthy and strong, and the fruits will be large and tasty like never before. Even the weakest tomato seedlings will thrive. Just one tablespoon of this powder is enough. This fertilizer poured into the hole for tomatoes will provide them with the necessary nutrients for growth. How to make it? Start by collecting eggshells. When you cook eggs or make scrambled eggs, save the eggshells. Leave the washed and clean ones to dry. Sometimes I crush them into smaller pieces earlier. It's easier to store them that way. They are perfect for tomatoes. Simply grind them into a fine powder. You can do this using a blender, but you can also use a coffee grinder. This powdery substance contains many minerals. Eggshells are primarily a source of calcium. Calcium is needed by tomatoes to fruit healthily. When planting tomatoes in the field, add a tablespoon of ground eggshells to each hole. One tablespoon per hole. You'll protect the tomatoes from diseases resulting from a lack of calcium or other minerals. An example is tomato fruit rot. Just a bit of eggshells, and you'll avoid such problems. Most people don't know this recipe with the common lilac. This is the last moment to pick it. Lilac flowers are edible. Pick them when they bloom and bring them home. Rinse them thoroughly with water. Then pick the flowers from the branch. We care about the petals themselves. Lilac flowers, commonly known as elderberries, are edible and have quite a few health benefits. Petals contain many active compounds, including tannins, coumarins, phenolic acids, and flavonoids. Put a cup of white sugar into a pot, pour a glass of water over it, turn on the heat, stir the whole thing until the sugar dissolves. Then, pour the elderflowers into it, boil the whole thing. The flowers should color the water. Pour a hundred grams of frozen or fresh blueberries into the pan. Cook them until a thick sauce is formed. Transfer to a bowl. Then, add to the water with the flowers. Stir the whole thing and cook for five minutes. After is done, strain through a strainer. Transfer the syrup to a sterilized jar beforehand and you're done. This is a natural ingredient that has anti-inflammatory and anti-fever effects. It will work great as an addition to tea, lemonade, or as a topping for ice cream. It is delicious and healthy. Its lovely dark purple color is natural. The syrup can be stored for up to two months in the refrigerator the most potent plant rooter, and it's completely free. It contains natural plant growth hormones. At the same time, it supports the resistance of new seedlings and has a disinfectant effect. And you can make it in just a few minutes. It's perfect for rooting roses, hawthorns, forsythias, and hydrangeas. When you trim unnecessary branches of forsythias in spring, you can root them. You can also make cuttings from hawthorn or rose branches. All you need are a few willow branches, they can even have leaves on them. You can also use elderberry branches. Every tree from the willow family has extremely potent growth hormones. A willow branch placed in the ground will root easily. That's why a rooting agent made from it is so effective. Cut the willow branches into smaller pieces. They can be a few centimeters long. Transfer them to a jar. Take water, preferably rainwater, and pour it over the chopped branches. Leave the jar in a dark place for a week or two. Then simply strain the liquid that forms. It will have a specific smell and density, but that's exactly the kind of liquid that stimulates the growth of plant root systems. Just insert the branches you want to root into it. You can also use the resulting liquid to water rooted plants. It's the most effective rooting agent and completely natural. On the stakes in the garden, tie bundles with soap. You will be surprised by their action. This soap has an unusual application in the garden. You will get to know it right away. Choose the soap with the sharpest and strongest scent. Cut the soap bar into smaller pieces. You can cut this soap with scissors, but if you have a harder soap, use a knife or a vegetable grater. Smaller pieces of soap are needed. Prepare a cloth and cut it. You will get several smaller pieces. Place pieces of soap on each piece of cloth. Divide roughly evenly. Take a string, make such a pouch and tie it. Do the same with the remaining pieces of cloth with soap. 
The string must be a bit longer. You will have these bundles. Also, take stakes for the field. Hammer them at the plot boundary. Tie one soap pouch to each stake. The stakes can be at different distances. Why am I doing this? The soap will deter deer. When vegetables are growing in the garden or you have young trees, the strong scent of soap will deter them. During rain, some of the soap will dissolve and flow into the ground. At ground level, the scent will deter rabbits. That's why you should drive in stakes with soap at the plot boundary. It will be an invisible barrier to pests such as deer and rabbits. When the soap dissolves or is blown away, hang up new ones. And you're done. You have a chance that your harvest will remain intact. Put in bags, hang in the garden, and spray. This tried and true trick works not only on aphids and spider mites, but also protects your plants from many pests. When spring comes, all the plants in the garden come to life. If you don't provide them with protection against pests, you'll soon have to fight them. Aphids on roses, fruit trees, and other plants are a nuisance for every gardener. But you can provide them with protection in spring. All it takes is an ecological trick, safe for plants. Additionally, it protects plants even when you're not in the garden or on the plot for several days. Most methods for dealing with aphids require spraying. They need to be repeated, especially after rain, because the spray stops working. But this method won't stop working even after rain. On the contrary, rain works in its favor. It's environmentally friendly. What's so great about it? Soap. Every gardener knows its effectiveness in fighting pests, but few use it in this way. Crush soap into pieces. Prepare scraps of material from an old sheet or cloth. Pack the soap pieces in them. Tie up such bundles on trees and shrubs where you usually fight aphids every year and spray. Wet soap smells more intense. It will repel pests until the rain completely dissolves it. Jedna łyżeczka sprawi, że sadzonki pomidorów będą silne, zdrowe i dobrze ukorzenione. Będziesz zachwycony. Wiotkie i słabe siewki w końcu rozwiną silny system korzeniowy. Nie będą chorować. I chłodygi i liście zaczną pięknie rosnąć. Sadzonki pomidorów staną się twoją dumą, a wszystko to dzięki jednemu produktowi. Każdy, kto prowadzi domową rozsadę warzyw, wie jak wiele warunków trzeba spełnić, aby sadzonki były zdrowe i silne. Odpowiednia temperatura, dużo światła i prawidłowe podlewania. To wszystko zapewniłeś swoim sadzonkom, a wciąż są słabe i nie rosną? Wtedy możesz je zasilić. Ochronisz je przed chorobami grzybowymi, które tak często atakują młode siewki. Nie będą też chorować na tak zwaną czarną nóżkę. Taki środek jest doskonały do ukorzeniania młodych sadzonek. Pobudza je do wzrostu. Aby go przygotować, potrzebujesz odstałej wody albo deszczówki. Taką wodę wlej do naczynia. Ten pojemnik ma pół litra pojemności. Dodaj pół łyżeczki miodu i rozpuść go w wodzie. Na litr wody użyj jedną łyżeczkę miodu. Dodaj pół łyżeczki cynamonu. Cynamon ma właściwości antybakteryjne. Chroni również przed pleśnią i wspomaga ukorzenianie jak miód. Taką mieszanką podlej swoje sadzonki. Będziesz zachwycony efektem. Sadzonki pomidorów będą pięknie rosnąć. Będą silne i zdrowe.